in Mount Kenya East, we have concerns and we want to hear them to you right now that we hope the national dialogue is going to, you know, is going to square or, or align the issue of resource sharing. Political leaders have been challenged to avoid political tokenism and instead uplift the living standards of all electorates. According to Garissa Woman Rep. Argun Siad, the politics of tokenism and handouts have been overtaken by time. She spoke at the, at the Garissa County offices when she launched the countrywide GAF projects for the 2023-2024 financial year car washing machines, but borders, hairdressing equipment, among others, were distributed to help residents earn a living. Siad further urged leaders to focus on empowering the youth. <laughs> Anyone a meshi garisa, akuna na local na local, sis water nwa kaju wa garisa, na kwa hiwa na shukuru, ata ni asanti kwa ili ameza kutupatia kama kikundi, na hiyo pesa itasaidia kuendeleza biashara. Mimi ni kwa kikundi ya, ya youth ambao kazi yao ni pottery farming na itasaidia kununua chakula, kuongeza kuku wengine. Hizi projects ambayo huwa tunafanya ziko na impact mingi sana kwa community na tunatarajia kuendelea mingi. Eh, of course kulingana na eh, vile tutapata eh, fedha kutoka serikali kuu. Yes, As you all know Garza County has been going through a lot of unemployment through the county or national government so we are trying we are trying to put the youth uh, uh, into a space that they don't think of vices like uh, being radical or doing something bad or other wheezy so we are trying to keep them in uh, busy with some of this previously you saw me doing a lot of tournaments peacekeeping tournaments and keeping the kids uh, busy so border borders are something that creates jobs for them at the moment we don't have something better but for now to now pair border borders of any cases well weekend at one now takes a very short commercial break please don't go too far <laughs>